In this lesson, I'm going to quickly show you how to make some simple artwork using the software without going into too much detail. We just want to show you how to do something quite straightforward. So the first thing we do is we'll set our page size. So we'll come down to these metric sizes here and we'll set this at say 600mm by 900mm or 2 foot by 3 foot. And that's the page size we're going to work with. Now this could be a simple sidewalk sign, an A board, A frame, that sort of thing. And uh, what we'll do is we'll type in some text. Here we'll type in say arts and crafts, just like so. So we just type it straight on the screen just like that. And it automatically sets it as uh, centered. And I can resize this text here by just simply dragging it out like so. And then I can position it where I need, to, need it to be. Um, and if I want to align it, I can use some of these alignment tools like align to center and uh, either vertically or horizontally or both. So I'm going to put this in the middle of the page like so. And from the design center, I can actually go to these tools here, align space and distribute, and I can use these uh, on-screen controls, as you can see, that shows you where it would, would go if you clicked on one of these buttons. So it gives you a preview on the screen. It's quite a nice thing to have. So I've got our text like so, and we can go to our font selector here and uh, we can see that uh, we can change this to any font we like. And what we'll do is we'll go down to our um, text tools here. And we can actually adjust these text, this text, uh, like the line spacing, for example, up and down uh, with these on-screen controllers. As you can see here, I can adjust the kerning between the text itself, um, like that. I can use the default kerning of the font. I have a lot of control over my text using these tools here. But we'll leave that at this for now. Um, obviously, if I wanted to justify, I could block it left, block it right. But I think centered looks pretty good for this particular uh, this project. And we'll just recenter that back into the center of the page. So that, that takes care of that text part. Now we might have an arrow to direct people where they need to go. So we can simply draw out an arrow like so. And we get these nice on-screen controllers here, and we can adjust those, get the shape of the arrow the way we want it, the size that we're looking for. And again, we can adjust the, uh, its position to the center like so. Now, we might want to put a, um, a notice on this arrow, like, for example, that the, uh, the Arts and Crafts is now open, for example. So we'll set that to uh, the text we want and we'll size it. Now you can see that text is black like that. And when I put it over that uh, arrow, I can't actually see it. And we may want to cut that out as a single piece so that we can weed out the, uh, the now open text so it shows through the, uh, the background of our sign, which is normally white. So to do that, there's a special tool here called Reverse Fill. So we click on that tool there. And even though that text is black, uh, as far as the uh, software is concerned, as you can see here, it's, it's black text. I'm going to click on that. Uh, and so is the arrow. By putting it in reverse fill, it tells the software that those two things are the same color. So in other words, to cut the now open out of the arrow. Now we might want to put it in some fancy things up the top here so we can import those. We'll just import a couple of these butterflies here. I mean, that just goes in with this particular artwork here. So we can just go import, just drag that to the, roughly the size we want. Um, there's another uh, butterfly there, a different shaped one, which will bring that in. So just import file, bring it in like so, click accept, and then we just drag it out to the size we're looking for. We've got these special uh, rotation nodes up here. Uh, if I click on it, I can uh, rotate it using those nodes. I can skew it as well, uh, up and down, left to right, for example. And um, using that rotation node, I can just position that to the angle that I'm looking for. I even get it, uh, it tells me what angle it is on the screen, like you can see there. And uh, I just fiddle around with this and get it roughly where I want it to be. I mean, obviously it's just a, a simple sign we're designing here, nothing too flash. Okay. And of course we can uh, set the exact sizes of the, um, of the artwork here using the size tools. And we can position it numerically if we want to, visually. And as you can see, I can just, fiddle around, get the sign the way I want it to look by simply moving it around on the screen or using some of these tools on the right hand side of the design center. I can also set the colors of these uh, of this text here by um, coming to the uh, vinyl color chart. I might work with a particular uh, set of colors 
for example, in these vinyl color charts, I might work with Scotch Cal and uh, one of these other color charts. This one's fine. If I click accept here, you can see that my color chart here on the right changes, and that's my vinyl colors I might have in stock. So I can simply change those by selecting the text and simply clicking on the, um, the color that I, I want to uh, cut out and, uh, and applying it to the text like so. It's very, very straightforward. Um, and I can change the colors of these butterflies. You know, this one might want to be a, um, a purple color, an orange color, etc. You can change these colors as you need to. And as you can see, we can, uh, we can develop our sign quite quickly. If I change that now open text, I obviously want to make it the same color as itself so that when it cuts it out later on, uh, it cuts in one piece. So now that we're happy with what we've created here, we'll need to create the, the other side of this sign because it's a double-sided sign being an A board. So we'll just create another page like so. And now we'll need to copy the original page. So we'll just go back to that for a moment, select it all. And we can go to this first row of tools here, pop out the, uh, the fly out and go copy and then paste it. And we've got an exact copy of the original. All we need to do now is just to uh, mirror this arrow because obviously it needs to face the other direction and uh, position this text here. Make sure we get that right. It's very important. So it looks correct. Just slide it along to the right hand side there. And that's the, uh, the design of this particular sign and it's good to go. Of course, we'll want to save this sign, so we'll need to click, come up here and click Save As. Uh, we'll give it a name. Arts and Crafts is probably uh, appropriate. And when we save that, it saves it as a .v doc and uh, to wherever we've decided to save it to. Um, and if I close out now, like so, and then I can reopen that job. And as you can see, just click there like that. And the design that we've made is now here on page one and two and it's good to go. So we can cut this out. So you can watch the cutting lesson about this uh, to see how to cut this job out. And that's the end of this lesson. Thank you.